In today's video, I'm going to take you guys on a little bit of a journey of a camper renovation that I recently did with my family. That's today's video. Before we begin, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you can get notified for future videos. I'd love to have you back in the next one. Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So recently I bought a camper. I, um, I made the plunge and we were looking to uh, have some time with a family that's kind of like outdoorsy and I am not an outdoorsy kind of guy, but we went ahead and made the leap purchased a camper pretty cheap, fixed it up as a family, and then camped or camped out in it and lived in it for a little while, um, and then we sold it. But I wanted to share with you guys the whole process of the before and after look of this camper, and maybe it'll inspire you guys and give you guys some ideas on how you can renovate your camper. Now, when I bought this camper, I had absolutely no idea uh, uh, about anything dealing with campers or RVs or anything of that sort. So when I bought it, it was a brand new experience to me and I learned as I went and I started renovating. Um, now, I did know how to paint, of course, and I knew how to, to do some of the basic carpentry stuff. Um, but it was a fun project to tackle and get in there and just fix up a space that was kind of dated and make it into that farmhouse style decor that my wife and I like. Okay, now I'm going to take you through the process. Um, I did make a video on this before. It's pretty lengthy, so this is kind of a shortened version of it. I will link the more lengthy version if you want to go through the whole vlog that I made of this camper. I'll link that video in the description down below also. But uh, this is more of a shortened version to kind of give you an idea of what we ran into, what kind of obstacles, what kind of work it was involved, and just all the, the nitty gritty of it all. So let's go ahead and dive into this. All right, so good morning. One of the things that we ran into was the electrical uh, socket, but um, this doesn't plug into a, just a regular outlet like you would have in your garage or your home or in a, any typical wall. So we're off to the hardware store to get an adapter that turns that from a 30 volt into a 15 volt. That makes it more universal on where we can plug it in. Now, if you are interested in any of the things that I renovated this camper with, I'm going to have a link in the description down below because I pretty much furnished this whole camper on Amazon because we live in a day and age where we can just punch in an order on our phones and have something delivered to us in a couple days. And that was pretty convenient for us along the process of fixing this camper up. Sorry for the sound, we got the air on, but I was trying to figure out how to get these padded things off because they're on there. They're on there pretty good. But I learned that if you pop these buttons off, there's a screw behind there, and that's what holds all this padded stuff on the camper down. So pop those off, take the screw out, and that should come off easy. Okay, so we got the second coat of paint, gray paint, put on the walls here. I think we can get away with just using two coats there. It looks pretty good right now. It took three coats to do all the white paint on the cabinets. But next, these walls right here, we're gonna put a uh, shiplap peel and stick on that wall there. So it's gonna be the two walls on the push out, but it's gonna be this peel and stick uh, shiplap wallpapering right here. Now the great thing about this uh, particular peel and stick paper, kind of like when you're uh, wrapping Christmas gifts, on the back side of this paper, it's got grids and lines 
like that to kind of help you know where to cut. <laughs> So we're gonna mount a 40 inch Samsung smart TV. Okay, so this was a little bit harder than what I thought it was. I actually had to rope in a couple of my kids to help me. But this is what it looks like. Bam, all right, it is complete now. There they are, all the tiles, the Gothic farmhouse style tiles. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so next up on the remodel is this wall here that goes all the way around in our kitchen area. And I'm going to be covering up all this with this white subway tile. It's also a peel and stick, just like this wall was right here. Okay, as you can see right here, this is an old bulb light here, and this is a bright LED light. Look at the difference in color there and brightness. So we're going to be replacing all of the lights that we have here in the living space with these bright white LED lights. We replaced all the knobs here with these modern style knobs and we bought those black. We originally painted the old knobs to see if we could save a few dollars that way but we ended up liking the modern style and just replacing those old knobs. So we kind of painted those old knobs for, well, for nothing. These white curtains here to give us a little bit of privacy. Now real quick, here is the before and the after to kind of give you guys a really good visual of what it looks like. Well, thanks for watching this video, guys. If this was helpful to you, make sure you throw a thumbs up on this video and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time, not necessarily camper videos, but maybe it might be something you'd be interested in. Um, and I'd love to have you back in the next one. So until then, be creative.